Hello, hello, hello. Good evening, my dear J Warriors. This is your Captain Shreyas and uh, the team behind our entire, you know, J has taken countless hours to analyze, deep dive into figuring out what topics, what is the trend, different patterns and everything that you need for J 2025. Trust me, if you do it on your own, uh, you know, browsing through the internet, downloading this, seeing what that person is saying. You don't have to waste any more time watching many videos, browsing through websites, seeing what to study. Trust me, this video is too good. And when Shreya sir says it, he means it because we have done the perfect analysis, whatever you need. And the best part, you will be getting the entire PDF. Yes, the link is there in the description after some time. So, let me straight away deep dive into it and before you forget quickly smash that like button down there and also subscribe to the number one j english channel in the country and quickly smash that like button so that youtube also understands what you need what you want and what you want and what you need is j 2025 99 percentile plus right in the first go so you have done the perfect analysis and this will help you out and this is considering the past few years trends yes now the options have reduced obviously 23 24 had 10 questions in section b now we have five compulsory questions that obviously disclaimer is there but needless to say that won't change the predictions as a whole so starting off with chemistry then i'll go to physics and then also to mathematics okay Good evening, everyone. Hi, Nalini, PC Tech friend, Sai Gamer. Welcome. Yes, J Mains ka form class 12th ka name address. Kya uh, uh, why don't you put up that comment in the comment section? I will definitely help you out. Okay, starting off with chemistry. If you look at year by year trend for 11th and 12th, this is analyzing all the questions. None of the questions were left. You will see in general 12 standard percentages higher for chemistry and this changes for subject to subject that's why you need to understand many of you would have seen ah, 12th and 11th 50 50 but that's an average one this is subject specific 12th has a higher percentage and especially if you see in session number one the percentage is higher as compared to session number two that is your april attempt april attempt the gap between the two reduces but in session one the gap is more Probably there is an indirect reason because I think NTA knows that you are preparing for board, obviously. So maybe they want to give a slightly higher preference to 12th. That might be the reason. But in the uh, second attempt, in the April attempt, they know that, okay, fine. Now you have time for revising 11th as well. So the gap is slightly less. That's the first trend that you can see. Now talking about topic wise analysis this is very crucial see all the chapters mentioned percentage distribution considering all the previous years yes very very important my dear warriors if you see the highest weightage close to seven percent is of coordination compounds then comes practical chemistry many students leave that chapter eye opener isn't it guys yeah yes yes i this is an eye opener chemical bonding also almost like 5% general organic chemistry also close to 5% d and f block close to 5% solutions electrochemistry uh, structure of atom all of these are the most important chapter see the most most important is coordination compound but above 4% is also very important so till electrochemistry whatever you are seeing extremely important now the medium weightage 2% to 4% if you see structure of atom alkyl and aryl halides are hydrocarbons alcohol phenols ethers aldehyde ketones just now diksha ma'am was taking all these classes i hope you have not missed that all right so make sure you're watching all the classes chemical kinetics biomolecules p block mole concept thermo thermodynamics s block amines redox periodic properties and p block group 13 and 14 so till this 
it is medium weightage and these topics are even lesser on the medium weightage side now extremely low weightage is ionic equilibrium surface chemistry chemical equilibrium environmental metallurgy carboxylic acids hydrogen chemistry in everyday life isomerism and polymers gaseous state and all of that yes some topics keep changing over the years maybe sometimes they get deleted sometimes they get added so this is based on the last couple of years trends yep okay yes. inorganic chemistry always has been the most important and uh, if you see over here then the physical chemistry which is the one in yellow yes that has been the most second most important and the organic chemistry has been the least important but it has suddenly picked up in 2024 went up to 35 percent weightage starting from 25 percent the most important obviously is inorganic which many students generally tend to leave i hope that is absolutely clear this is very very important don't live in organic at no matter any cost and don't just concentrate on organic or physical thinking it will save you in chemistry no just one subject one part of it will definitely not help you now going to the type of questions see in organic chemistry single correct questions are as the highest in inorganic also single correct section a is as the highest but in physical chemistry do you see this graph it is basically numerical type is generally as the highest yes because calculations are there so that's why they are putting it more in the numeric side so if you are worried about the numeric type of questions in chemistry that means you have to concentrate on physical chemistry understand that because in organic and inorganic making those questions is slightly more difficult okay second highest uh, well uh, is obviously numerical type but you can see a sizable proportion has been also asked of matrix or uh, you know uh, assertion reasoning type in organic and inorganic chemistry whereas those theory based question or match the following based questions are not generally asked in physical chemistry so if you are thinking where should i solve more questions of multiple uh, sorry matrix type or even the assertion reasoning type you should be looking for organic and inorganic questions more is that absolutely clear my dear warriors okay perfect right moving on to the next one the chapters whose weightage is more than 70 percent belonging to a particular question type meaning you know let's say numeric type numeric type every time they have been asking questions from these chapter or single correct type every time they ask questions from these chapters and very very important and 70 percent contribution guess what numeric type gaseous state solutions thermodynamics and thermochemistry chemical kinetics these four five topics alone contribute to more than 70 percent in numerical type so you now know how to crack the numeric type of chemistry in simple your single correct questions single correct question yes direct not assertion not mat matrix type or anything goc alkyl and aryl halides carboxylic acids and its derivatives are the highest contributors in chemistry is this understood these are the easy kill ones clear my dear warriors okay okay perfect perfect now let's come to physics now if you see the gap again between 11th and 12th in 2023 jan april attempt 2024 jan april attempt again 12th has a higher contributor contribution as compared to 11th as you can see over here number one number two the gap is not that different over here so you cannot just say oh in the first attempt or in the second attempt this will be asked more or this will be asked less no but yes there is a slightly higher bias for the 12th standard portion as compared to the 11th standard portion even in physics as you can see now let's see in all the sessions who have been the highest contributors starting off with 2023 look at the blue ones the blue ones is dynamics meaning newton's law circular motion work fire energy momentum collision rotation all of that okay highest contributor uh, in the 2023 uh, even in 2024 it has a sizable chunk as you can see the blue one which is mechanics and suddenly there is a spike over here in this orange ones which are basically your uh, I think this was not supposed to be that communication systems. This was supposed to be your semiconductors and, uh, you know, logic gates and uh, all those things. Okay. So this has to be removed. All right. 
so shm waves shm waves heavily theoretical very big chapter not that much contribution you can see over here 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 as well as over here all right so you can see not very heavily contributing then you can see over here this blue graph over here this blue graph again heavily contributing that is from magnetism emi and ac yes that entire magnetism unit starts from sources bio savert's law till ac yes very very important the yellow and the greens again medium contributors you can see except for this particular session it's in kinematics the fundamentals of physics like your units dimensions basic maths vectors all that kinematics in 1d 2d relative motion and the green one being the heat thermal properties calorimetry ktg thermo all of that so those have been the medium weightage things but there is nothing like something is very high something is very low except for semiconductors logic gates they always come but they are not like heavily contributing okay now which is the most high weighted chapter which is the least weighted chapter if you will write down all the chapters names modern physics obviously the highest at 10% then you have current electricity at 8% these two chapters alone are contributing to 18% of the these two units 18% of the physics syllabus in your j mains magnetic effects of current almost 6% gravitation lot of people ignore it close to 4% 5% electrostatics 4 to 5% ray optics close to 4% units measurement almost like 4% then you have the medium weightage like semiconductors fluids electromagnetic induction rotation alternating current thermodynamics ktg motion in a straight line simple harmonic motion wave optics electromagnetic waves work power energy till this is medium weightage after this comes all the low weighted chapters which are those like mechanical properties waves capacitors circular motion communication is deleted but since it was there that's why this has been analyzed motion in a plane center of mass basic mathematics in physics electric flux gauss law friction experimental physics magnetism chapter heat temperature these are low weighted chapters i hope this is absolutely clear okay everyone yeah all right so that is with regards to physics and in physics also which questions are they asking more from which unit if you see in mechanics electromagnetism fundamentals of physics and kinematics heat properties magnetism modern physics okay in all of them sqs are preferred more but where are they preferring integer type of questions they are preferring integer type of questions in shm and waves also in magnetism emi and ac and also in electrostatics and current that's where they prefer more of integer type numeric type of questions where do they prefer theoretical questions assertion reason statement or you know matrix type all those kinds well they prefer it from the fundamentals like those vectors basic maths units dimensions all those things also a little bit in magnetism emi and a little bit in modern physics that's where they usually prefer those kind of questions from shm waves they don't prefer even in dynamics they don't prefer apart from assertion reason matrix type is generally not asked over there so this is the analysis of the past years so contributors more than 80% in numeric type is rotational motion in simple your single correct questions circular motion experimental physics friction gravitation ktg semiconductors thermodynamics they are the highest contributors in single correct simple questions all right i hope this is absolutely clear are you ready for maths give me a some fire emoji in the chat box and if you forgotten to smash the like button do that right now in mathematics my dear warriors again the percentage of 12th is higher as compared to 11 and especially in session 1 the difference is greater as compared to session 2 again similar trend like chemistry which was not there in physics so they are asking more of 12th less of 11th more of 12th less of 11th in session 1 as compared to the session number 2 but you cannot say that it will happen because this year the gap was less but again this year the gap increased but maybe you are lucky and they asked more of 12th which helps you in your board as well as your je preparation 
Okay, talking about units, which are the highest weightage units, obviously the yellow one is the highest weightage unit and which is that functions and calculus very very important unit in most of the sessions the second one being the blue and the green which is algebra and geometry and measurement yes the blue and the green over here every year highest weightage the least weightage being number systems and data handling and probability all right so those units have been given the least priority year over year in mathematics if you talk the most important high weighted sir which are those chapters 3d geometry matrices you can see 3d geometry at close to nine percent matrices close to seven percent eight percent vectors also close to seven percent and sequence and series also close to some six seven percent definite integrals also close to five six percent okay these are very very important you cannot leave these chapters if you just do this trust me you are almost like uh, more than 30 40 percent right over here okay then which are the other important chapters after binomial theorem P and C, conic sections, differential equations, relations, functions, area under the curve, application of derivatives, pair of straight lines, probability, sets, functions, complex numbers, statics, statistics, circles, quadratic equations. These are medium weightage chapters. After that, you have basically limits and derivatives, low weightage, trigonometry, low weightage, continuity, differentiability, mathematical reasoning, indefinite integration, differentiation, inverse trigonometric functions, and basic maths on the low weightage side. So that tells you which chapters you have to give priority, which chapters you can leave as option. And if you're good at something, you can prepare your strengths in the medium weightage ones. If you see question pattern type, which unit, which questions are asked more, well, if you see, generally, generally, in the simple single correct questions type, they are asking more of functions, geometry and measurement also. The simple SEQs are generally asked from geometry and measurement algebra as well. And even a little bit of data handling and probability. You will not see many simple questions from number systems. But from number systems, you will see more of numeric type and uh, less questions are asked from numeric type from functions calculus geometry measurement and algebra whereas more numeric questions are asked from data handling probability and number systems so you know which chapters will give you marks in which particular category also so all of this is collected in a pdf and the link has been pasted in the description box of this particular video itself so that you can sit and analyze it properly okay so it is uh, going to be there i'm not sure if it has been put right now okay i will just put it up after the video ends yes after the video ends it will be updated don't worry about it and you can download it so that you can plan your studies properly okay so thank me by liking the video sharing this video and subscribing to the channel thank you bye bye take care